What's up? This is Tom with Elevating WordPress, and in this video I'm going to be reviewing SiteGround's Go Geek plan. Right now it's $14.95 a month. If it shows as $29.95 a month, I would wait until they run a promotion. But there are some main differences between these plans. So with Grow Big and Go Geek, you can host unlimited websites. As you upgrade plans, um, your website will run faster. There's e-commerce features, and I'll basically go through all these with you. So you can do a side-by-side -side comparison by clicking that Plan C Plan Details link. And other than the obvious things like more storage, um, more email storage, free domain name, SiteGround will migrate you for free if you're moving from another hosting company. I will go over a few things. So the main thing is the server resources, which makes your website faster. If you hover over the Essential, Premium, and Geeky, you can see they basically double as you upgrade plans. And uh, that means your website will run faster. So more server resources are dedicated to your website instead of sharing servers with you know thousands of other websites. You also get priority support. Um, but yeah, if you go through this list and hover over it, you can see a description. But with GoGeek, you know, you get priority support, more server resources, hosts unlimited websites, the, the WordPress special cache, and the super cacher with all three levels you can ignore since I would recommend using a different caching plugin like uh, W3 Total Cache, WP Fastest Cache, or WP Super Cache. I wrote tutorials on those that helped people achieve a 98% uh, score in GT metrics and you know this is my website and I'm hosted with SiteGround and it loads pretty instantly. In GT metrics I think I have a 0.5 second load time and I blog about site speed. I practice stuff on my own website and I'm hosted with uh, I'm actually on their cloud hosting plan but honestly I was getting 0.5 second load times on their GoGeek. So uh, um, you don't need the $60 a month cloud hosting plan unless you're running a huge website. But yeah, I would ignore the, the, the caching and use one of those three plugins that I mentioned. And I, like I said, I wrote tutorials on those. I'll leave a link in the comments if you want to follow those. You get 30 daily backups as opposed to one with startup. You get a restore tool. so. I would, I would actually just look at this because if you need to restore your website, um, SiteGround will actually do that for you. It's a service they provide that includes that is included with GoGeek. But if you want to do it yourself, they have a tool that makes it very easy. You get the priority support. <clears throat> SiteGround support is awesome. I've used it a ton. Uh, the PCI compliance is for e-commerce websites that helps prevent credit card fraud protection. Wildcard SSL allows you to use an SSL on subdomains. The staging is where you can create a copy of your website and test out plugins or designs um, before launching it on your, web, on your actual website. So you can create this demo and then test whatever you want and then as soon as you're ready to make it live you can just do a one-click launch and uh, you know, that prevents anything going wrong with your website. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, SiteGround does have a page on their website just for GoGeek that lists a little bit more information, but I already went over a lot of this. Like the fewer, ser the fewer users on your server, that's the server resources tab that I mentioned. The e-commerce features, priority support. Their speed is amazing if you want to learn about it learn about it, you can hover over the technology tab right here and go to uh, their speed technology. They have four data centers and you, once you choose a SiteGround plan you basically choose one of the four. I'm in Chicago so I chose the one in Chicago. Their uptimes are amazing and SiteGround is awesome. So if you uh, decide to purchase a SiteGround plan, I uh, or a plan. I included an affiliate link in the comments section of this video. It basically earns me a commission at no expense to you. But I would appreciate it if you did that. I have like $10,000 in student loans to pay. 
and uh, that'll be one step more to paying off Navient. <laughs> so anyway, regardless, you don't have to if you don't want to, but I hope you did find this video helpful in choosing your plan, and if you still need help, leave me a comment in the comment section, I'll be glad to answer your question.